What is going on, GW Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson. Welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, where we last left off. Uh, we finished the uh, Tide of Terror episode, and, you know, we defeated Raleigh. Now we're on the Sunset Snake, guys, and the next antagonist we have to face is Mugshot. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What People wouldn't want to live think? around there. And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leap us lively and press us the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> it just... It reads off those instructions in, like, that Shakespearean language. Alright, anyways, uh, let me, I gotta get some clues. I forgot the one over there. I pressed X, but he didn't jump for some reason. Whatever. I always forget about those two clues right there. Alright, but anyways, let's keep moving forward. There's a clue down there. <clears throat> Spy Spire jump, you know, where you Sly has a lot of really cool athletic abilities. Like that spire jump, for example. That's just one of the many examples. By the way, out of all the music. Out of all the uh, episodes in this game, I think this episode has the best music. Out of the episodes in this game, that is. Not out of, out, out of all the episodes in all the games. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. <clears throat> Step on them and you're a god. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing. But it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Yeah, I know. Alright, I thought my gameplay was going out of sync for a second. Alright. Clue. Oh, I forgot. I, I gotta get across those little platforms down there. I passed them. Because there's some more clues that way. And yes, I know I'm shirtless right now, and the reason why is because it's it's just hot over here where I live. It's been very humid and very hot for the last few weeks here. And most of my clean shirts are black, so... That'll just make it even worse. And also, I already talked about this in a community post, but, you know, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 1 for the last while on my channel. Really like the game. You know, I've I played it before I decided to play it on YouTube, but... Yeah. Uh, and relating to that, you know, I've ha I kept having people come to me, you know, ask me to play Dead Red, Dead Red Dead Redemption 2 after I'm done with that. But I've already played Red Dead Redemption 2 on my channel. It was a very long time ago when my channel was a lot smaller. For those that didn't catch the post, that is. Some of you did catch it, and I'm not referring to you all. I'm, cut I'm talking about the people that didn't see it. Or, or didn't see my past uh, live Let's Play series of that game. Because like I said, my channel was a lot smaller back then, so... And I just got myself killed by one of those idiot dogs. And there's a pop-up coming up on my computer. You guys can't see it, but... Don't hit me with that ball. I don't like being hit with balls. That's what she said. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah. You gotta be careful around those. Be careful be careful around those too, because they'll smash you. Alright, got another lucky charm. Yeah, this music is very catchy. Clue. Yeah, I think I missed a few. I'll probably come back to them at some point later, though, because the safe is all the way back there as well, and there's more clues up here. Yeah, they're safe to walk on while they're flashing, so the alarm will go off if you walk on them while they're flashing. Yep, and I just screwed myself. Don't throw those cards at me, dildo. Alright, more clues over there. There's some that fell behind. But there's one right here. And I, got, I gotta come back to, the, to those other clues that were left behind, so I gotta... That key's gonna have to wait. And you know, relating to me being shirtless right now, you know, if I wasn't very insecure about my body back then, you know, while my, while my channel was still small, I would have actually been shirtless the entire time I was a YouTuber, but I've always been very insecure. But I'm more comfortable now. Over time on YouTube, when you keep doing it, you just... You just care less about what you look like. Gosh dang it. Yeah, there's seven more. I, I will always, no matter how many times I played all the Sly Cooper games, which one of the games doesn't have the clues, but three out of four of them do, uh, I will never remember the, the location of every single one of them. I just won't. My memory is complicated. Did I forget any over here? Uh, no, I don't think I did. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I will never remember the locations of all of them. Gosh dang it. I pressed X. Oh, it's safe. Those can be very easy to overlook. Those safes that have those little, the, that have those clues in them, those little mini safes, they're very easy to miss. Gosh dang it! Go forward, Sly. Okay. At least I'm very close to it. <clears throat> I press circle! I press circle when I got up to those freaking things. It makes me really upset whenever I'm pressing a button for it to do something and it doesn't pay attention. My controller's in fine shape, by the way. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that sometimes when you press a button, it won't recognize. That's just with all controllers, no matter how good a condition they are, or what console they're on. That problem will always happen. I don't know why, but it will. There's some clues up there. Alright, alright, there's just two more. Part of me, for some reason, thinks I remember them being next to that vault up there. But I'm remembering wrong, they're not. Oh, it's 
right there. That's safe. Those things are very easy to overlook. I've warned you guys about that for anyone who ever plans on playing this, because it is available to purchase on the PSN store. That's pi. The math pi sign. 3.14. Yeah. So you can throw your hat and use it as an explosive. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let me just get back down there. Yeah. Throw that there. Sly always has a spare. Yeah. It doesn't seem like much right now, but wait till you use it on a guard. <clears throat> Let's go back here and get that key. Hooky hook. Alright, let's get that key out. Shots turf. Gosh, well, this mug shot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we don't yeah. hear somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Yeah, there's keys right there. We just gotta get them. Shut up! How did that not hit him? I, I literally swung the key, the cane right next to him. Mugshot's about to make an announcement. And I love that sound that the uh, encounter music makes the bow wow <laughs> at the dog track. This is the worst mission in the game, okay? I'm just letting you know right now, this is the worst, absolute worst job in the game. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove <clears throat> to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah. Three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any natural power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him. I'm on it! Yeah, you will see how much this absolutely sucks. This is literally... I've always hated racing in video games, but there is not a single race in any game ever that is worse than this. The van controls are terrible. You can only use the left analog stick to accelerate. And you have to use it to turn, too, and you'll always slow down. And for some reason, those cars ahead of you are always faster, even if you use the nitro. Yeah. 
This absolutely sucks. You may see me raging a few times in this. You know, not only is this the worst mission in this game, it's also the worst mission in all the Sly Cooper games. Well, I should have said job. They're called jobs in the Sly Cooper games, not missions. Though they're, they're the same thing when it comes to video game logic. Alright, I got ahead of one. Let, please let me get past the other ones. They're just automatically faster than you most of the time, no matter what you do. Like, whoever came up with, with this race must have never gotten touched by a woman, ever. I'm gonna lose. Yeah. I wish you were that easy, Sly! This race is so poorly designed. And there's some people that, that give you tips not to use the Nitro as soon as you get them, but no matter how you, if you store the Nitros or not, or you use them right away, it's still very difficult to get ahead. Yeah, and you always get stopped, even when you don't let go of the analog stick. Okay, I got ahead of one. Now please let me get ahead of the others. Please, I'm begging you, please! Alright, I gotta have another one, I'm in third place. Yep, I'm gonna lose again. I'm gonna lose again. Yep. Screw life, screw everything, screw this mission, screw whoever made this mission. <sighs> I know we need the key, Sly. I know we need the key. I just want to get this over with, because I can't get this over with. Well, I can't complete the story without get th getting this over with. G I'm losing my gosh dang train of thought. Yeah, they're already way ahead of me. And also, the Nitros aren't even that big of a hell to begin with. They only speed you up for like... You only get, like, a foot far. 
I'm telling you, this mission gosh dang sucks! We're already on the final lap, and I'm still very behind. I got past one. That's usually how it goes. I get past one during the final lap, but it still screws me. With a 20-inch dildo. Yep, I lost. I lost again. I lost again because life is an incel. Now please let me win, please! Great, already took the first gosh dang nitro, even though they don't even use the nitros whenever they get them. Though it seems like they're they're just permanently nitro for some reason. Please. <sighs> Why get those if you don't even use them? Why? You never boost whenever you use them, whenever you get them. What is the purpose in you getting them? Just to make me miserable. Okay, I'm in third place, and it's only the second lap. Shh. Every time I get stopped by running into one of those, I just get so furious. Okay, I'm in second place. Now let me please get ahead of that freaking Chihuahua up there. Please, I'm begging you, please. I just want to get past this so I can complete the story of this gosh dang freaking game. You know, I'm sorry, whoever created this mission on the behind the scenes of this game, I'm sorry that no woman wants to touch your penis, but it's not my fault, it's not every other gamer's fault that you're a freaking incel. And I lost again. I wish I could bang them without slowing down and, and, and having other cars pass ahead of me, sly! Why? Why did you go up in the... I gotta restart. Because I know after that, it's I'm not gonna win. Please, please, for the love of Jesus, please, please, please. Gosh dang it, please. Why, why do you slow down every time you turn? I don't get it.
<sighs> Please, I just want to I just want to get this out of the way. I just want to beat this so I can beat the story. I can't beat the story without doing this. Yep, I'm about to lose again. I'm about to lose again. Whoever created this is a freaking incel. Yep. I would bang on my desk harder if there wasn't a bottle of water here. I would. I seriously would. I hate this mission with a passion. You know what? See, even if you slightly nudge into any part of the sights or any obstacle, you're going to be slowed down permanently. Yep. See? See what I mean? It does not take much for you to either lose control or slow down tremendously or flip over. Yeah, look how far behind I am. So, for some reason, those cars are always faster than you. Please, I just want to beat the story of this game. And I can't do it without doing this. I want to beat the story of the game. And I can't do it without doing this. PLEASE, LET ME FRICKING PASS! <sighs> We're only in the second lap, I have a chance. Out of my way, stupid dog. Why do you slow down every time you turn? Yep, I'm gonna lose. After that happened, there's, there was no way I was gonna win. For some reason, the van wants to identify as a freaking rocket. You know what? I I'm I'm probably because it it usually takes me so many attempts just to pass this, so I may have to cut out everything where I'm struggling and only come back whenever I want. Why do you slow down every time you turn? Every time!
every single freaking time you turn, you have to slow down! I don't understand. There is literally no reason for you to slow down every time you turn. I didn't know I had another one stored. Yep, I lost. Look, I love this game, but I hate this mission. I hate this mission with a burning passion. And the mere existence of the creator of this mission is an insult to me. Or, I'm almost ahead of it. Okay, I'm ahead of the first idiot. Please let this be my moment. Please let this be my moment, please. And you know, I understand that you're not going to play a game as well if you keep raging at it. If your head... You can't play video games... ...with your emotions so strong. Okay, the second lap, I have a good chance of passing those two. GET OUT OF MY WAY! Alright. Now let's just get ahead of the stupid chihuahua up there. Alright. Please, stay ahead of Chihuahua, stay ahead of Chihuahua! Okay, I have a good chance of winning now. Don't get cocky, Josh, don't get cocky. Yeah! Suck it, dogs! Suck a 20-incher! Suck a horse's penis! I beat you! Finally! You deserve that key, and, and you deserve that hot dog too, Murray. You deserve it. Especially after, after putting up with those morons. Okay, well... I'm gonna end it here for now because I spent way too long... Uh... Getting past that... So, post jumps on below, link to is on this. If you like to you thumb it up, hasty you thumb it down. Also, show me in my backup channel in the description box. I'm sure to subscribe and become a member of the JW faction on 10,000 subscribers. God loves you. See you later.